The Russia-Ukraine war has sent commodity prices soaring across the world. While some countries are halting exports to bring down inflation, others are rethinking their agricultural strategies. India put a ban on wheat exports to contain domestic prices just a few days after Indonesia placed a similar ban on palm oil, only to relax it later. Some even call it deglobalization as food protectionism has been rising across the world. And it may further fuel global inflation. So is the world's food production keeping pace with the rising population? Let us begin with the 1798 essay by Englishman Thomas Malthus. Malthus had said that population growth would outpace food production to cause shortages and famine. Though not the first grim theory on population, Malthusian catastrophe was widely debated and criticised too. Two years later, in 1801, the UK government went on to conduct the first census. Malthus was proven wrong. But the theory again found resonance during the 1960s when newly independent countries wanted to be self-sufficient in food. Their reason was not as much population sustenance, but freedom from the shackles of dependence. India's Green Revolution was a step in that direction. But times changed. Decades of peace and globalization prompted most countries to liberalize trade rules for food commodities. For instance, the rice trade increased 22% between 2014 and 2022. Trade in wheat is expected to increase between 2017-18 and 2021-22, the July-June period, without any change in production over these years. As the old world order is challenged, countries again fear running out of food grains. Europe is being criticised for its farm-to-fork strategy promoting sustainable farming. A business standard analysis found food insecurity, the number of people with insufficient access to food, is a problem that was piling up for years when Russia-Ukraine crisis accentuated it. Data from food and agriculture organisations, the state of food security and nutrition in the world report shows that worldwide the number of moderately or severely food insecure people rose to 30.6% in 2020 compared to 22.6% in 2014. In Africa, food insecurity prevalence increased from 47.3% to 59.6% during this period as countries across the continent focused on export crops instead of staples. Meanwhile, production has not been keeping pace with consumption. Data from the United States Department of Agriculture report shows that global consumption of corn, wheat and rice will outstrip production in the coming year. While this would not translate into shortages immediately, a sustained period of production and consumption gap may cause problems. Malthus's claims appear correct to some, but what he did not perceive was human capacity for innovation. With a few decades of his musings, mechanization improved farm productivity. So will technology come to the rescue again? If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.